<laughs> well, thanks, Dean. Um, I think like uh, one of the things that I hate is the term uh, entrepreneur, really. But I guess we'll yeah. we'll utilize it for the time being. Um, so uh, I guess um, we'll we'll cover into the ground. But a simple overview: left to go and be a rock and roll star in two thousand and four. By 2006, played the MEN Arena in front of 17,500 people. Uh, 2007, got signed um, and uh, had um, Coldplay's tour management, uh, Coldplay's um, lawyers and uh, Kasabian's tour management and a whole host of other uh, people in town. Name dropping a bit there. Sorry? (laughs) Name dropping a bit there. (laughs) Name dropping, you got a name drop. Got a name drop. Name drops credibility. <laughs> yeah, um, sure. But yeah, by, by 2010, found myself um, selling furniture at wholesales, um, and uh, and decided to go back into architecture. During that period, though, I was working um, in sales in architecture, and was. Um, had high positions and talk, talk and um, and BT, and then ended up um, going back into architecture partner at the time, and um, and by two thousand and uh, two thousand and twenty one, we built the team up to thirteen staff. We were doing um, way over three, um, like uh, way over. Uh, six figures way 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 over six figures close to seven figures and um and we uh done eight million pound projects in heathrow airport we've done um loads and loads and loads of projects over that time and i think i've done about 800 projects in the past 10 years um and that kind of takes me up to here um or or up to now how about you thank you uh, so, as you know, <laughs> but other people don't know. Um, so basically, I went into well, I went into genetic engineering, um, <laughs> and I didn't. I did complete it uh, as a degree, but I didn't go into into work as I didn't really like it a lot. Um, but my first entrepreneurial thing happened at that point in time. I also decided to do uh, personal training, fitness consultancy, um, sports therapy, nutrition, massage. I got qualifications in those, and I set uh, sort of my own first um, first business doing that while I was in university. Um, so that was my first main taste of uh, earning earning money for myself. I did work in previous jobs before, so uh, in a warehouse in Currys. Uh, people in the UK will know who Currys are. It was the biggest one in Europe at the time. Um, <clears throat> so uh, so yeah, that basically that's that's the initial start. After that, I went into medical school. Um, decided that I hated it. I got a really good good marks, generally speaking, but uh, but I hated it, so I left after two years. Um, while I was doing that, actually, one of the challenges, I actually created a, a website called Tompstar.com. Tompstar.com was basically today's online music player, tomorrow's audio revolution.com. That was uh, abbreviations for that. Um, that was because I was too lazy to take my MP3 player around, and we didn't have online streaming uh, music services at the time. This was early 2000s. <laughs> So I decided to make myself one, <laughs> um, as you do, uh, so I could uh, take my headphones, plug it into the, the PCs in the library. This was while I was in the UK and listen to it there. Some people saw it. They asked me if I could make them a site or uh, make them a version of it. So I decided to make one where you could uh, um, you could put your playlists on and put it in and also file sharing and stuff. But I decided to stop that uh, after three months because it was in 68 countries within three months thousands of uh, users without any promotions or anything whatsoever it just caught fire but because of the legalities and things i was thinking it's okay for me to do it for myself but not so good to do it for everybody so i uh, i shut that down uh so that was that was really good um the um the uh, actually within the, the the thing that notified me of that was monster.com <clears throat> one of the, yeah. the biggest job board at the time actually called me up the, the director of marketing uh, and said can we advertise on your website because it's the highest growing website uh, in the region and that's when i looked at the figures and i was like oh uh, maybe i have to slow this down um <laughs> <laughs> so that was interesting then uh yeah i went to the netherlands um i worked uh 
I uh, worked in business to business sales. Uh, this was in 2007 to 2008. So it was during the international crisis. Perfect time to go into business to business sales for uh, Fortune 500 companies uh, doing B2B. Um, I did manage to get a few sales in there, but I, I, you know, I ended up uh, leaving that job after after ten months. Um, then I set up my own personal training thing again, and that that uh, that that got set up and set up too. After that, I decided to go to Egypt. Um, when I was in Egypt, um, I worked in uh, I worked in the corporate uh, um, at the time, in the big telecommunications company. Um, worked in in five years or less than just a little bit less than five years that I was there. I ended up taking about 14 different positions. Um, and uh, my main focus was uh, work hard to be lazy. And this is something you may hear every now and again, which is I would put in a lot of effort to be able to make things either automate or simple, et cetera. I made an entire knowledge base for people over there. There was thousands of people. Um, at the end, I was responsible for a lot of the, um, the knowledge for the, uh, for the United Kingdom um, as a central yeah, spark. Yeah. So that was those reasons. Then I... Then I left there um, as uh, I became CEO of, uh, of a professional training company. So I did, I did some um, management training, et cetera, in, uh, in Vodafone or in a telecommunications company. I've said it now, it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I got CEO in, in that position. I did some professional training, got a great reputation there. So when I started my own thing after that, um, and then uh, I got a huge amount of network, and people started asking me, "Do you want to? Do you want to do training? Do you want to do mentoring, coaching, etc.?" For a number of different places around the Middle East, um, and uh, a little bit into Europe as well. So I started to do that, charge my fees, but then it started to get a bit overwhelming with my own business that I was setting up in the professional training um, area. So I decided to set up a system where I could train people to be trainers at different levels. Um, so when people required a trainer in, in certain disciplines, we'd have people in, in the pool. We had about 5,000 people in the pool at that point in time after within about less than a year. Um, then a certain uh, global thing hit. <laughs> and uh, uh, of course, professional training in person um, didn't work. So I decided to pivot that, obviously, because you couldn't. Well, pivoting it in the online direction was too hard because there was too many online players at the time. Then I came to the UK. Um, and uh, we started setting up ventures, myself and Adam, uh, together. And that's basically where we are at the moment. Cool. <laughs> bit of, uh, bit of a brief. I yeah. know you put 20 years into two minutes. <laughs> Precisely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And trying to be as brief as, as physically possible. Um, <laughs> but it was it was good. We've had, a, we've had our fair shares of ups and downs. And that's exactly what we're trying to like um, talk about in here. So mm -hmm. I think... Um, 